and welcome back to my channel. So today I have got an unboxing of a dress from Japan um, which is by the Lolita brand Baby the Star Shines Bright. Um, I've got like a special occasion coming up and I saw this dress on Wonderwelt and I thought like I really have wanted a baby to start showing bright dress for a long time, but I've never been able to find one that really fits uh, my shape. And um, this one popped up and I was looking for a dress in kind of um, more classical Lolita colors, so sort of like browns and creams, um, something I could wear a little bit more casually because I'm trying to incorporate more casual pieces into my wardrobe. And this one came up, um, I will put the name for it for you here somewhere, um, but uh, I saw it and I was like, oh, and it's, it's kind of fairly affordable for a Lolita dress and it has back sharing across uh, the whole back panel. So I was like, ah, I was umming and ahhing, putting it into my, um, <laughs> into my basket and then taking it out again because I was like, money. And then, and then I managed to sell a couple of things and things were okay. And I was like, okay, I'm going to do it because I've not seen this dress come up before. It's actually the first baby Sasha and Bright dress that was, I guess, really interested in that was in my size. So considering that, there's, you know, that's, that's, that's quite sad really. <laughs> um, but um, hopefully it's um, gonna be good and it's gonna be something I'll get a lot of wear out of. Um, so for those of you who don't know, Wonderwelt is a uh, resale Lolita online store. So all second hand uh, Lolita dresses you will likely to find there. Um, and I can't remember if Wonderwell, I normally get um, taxed on import, I can't remember, but check back to one of my other videos, probably Merry Bunny, because that's the last one I got from Wonderwell, um, to see whether I got taxed then, but I didn't, and it was just waiting for me in my post office, just because I wasn't in. Um, with no tax to pay, um, maybe because it says on it that it is a used item, um, it says it in really, really big letters, like, <laughs> used, um, but yeah, it came within a week, I think, um, which is really good. So with Wonderwell, they, you buy for the, buy the product and then they'll send you an email afterwards telling you what the shipping is. I think it was like, uh, 18 pounds or something shipping, but considering that from Japan, that's fairly good, really. Um, and I always, uh, ooh, yay, I always. Um, I always like think of that when I'm buying the dress, like the dress is, if the dress is worth it with the shipping as well. So, oh, I'm really excited. This is my first baby dress. Um, this is, this is, this is cool. This is like a milestone for me. The other, only other baby items I've got is Usukumiya chan my cuddly white rabbit with the red eyes and I adore her. And, um, my pink baby Sasha and Bright coat, which I got quite early on into my Lolita journey. Um, and now it doesn't fit because I've put on a bit of weight since then and it's quite tight across the shoulders, but I know I have fitted into it, so I'm not getting rid of it at the moment because it is a beautiful, beautiful coat. Um, but yeah, other than that, I don't think I've got anything baby. I don't think. Have I got any bags? No. Usukumia is a bag, so um, look how tiny it's like a little package. I've got another Wonderwelt sticker. I always put those on like one of like my really boring things like uh, I've got a cabinet, a file, lock file cabinet and I'm like put all my stickers on there to make it a little bit more happy because it's just like boring documents. Oh look, look, look. So this dress um, was made in, oh uh, put here, I think it was something like 2014. I think it was a year or two before I got into uh, Lolita fashion, I think that's roughly when it was. Um, so I'm going to a special event at some point that I can't say right now. And this dress has got balloons and things on, so I thought this would be quite appropriate for the event I'm going to. And the main colour of the body of the dress is cream, and, and it's got brown details with polka dots. Oh, Oh my god, it's really pretty! 
Oh my god! Do you know what? I was not expecting to be as excited about this dress as like any of my AP ones because I'm an AP girl at heart, even though I really appreciate by the Starship I'm right because they're designed and the work they go into it is equally as good. I'm just kind of always more drawn to AP because that's me. But this, oh, I just got really got goosebumps. That's weird and lovely. And there is a cat hair on the dress. <laughs> I don't care, I really don't care about that. Uh, things like that don't bother me. Um, but um, the patterning is gorgeous! Oh my god! Oh, it has like fairy tales, there's a fairy tale print. It says, I should actually get it out of the package. Um, balloons. Look, there's a, um, it's not Uso Komiya chan, it is Komiya chan. Um, and he uh, is a balloon. It's the bear, the baby bear. And it also came with the head bow, and the head bow has got a um, beautiful baby um, embellishment detail, the gold little baby logo, and I don't have anything with the gold baby logo on, and I don't know, I just feel like that's a special part of a baby dress, is the, the little hanging bee in the heart. I feel like that's quite an iconic um, element of a lot of, of Lolita dresses is that little just that little baby logo I think it's adorable let's start with the head bow so the head bow oh it's so cute oh, oh my god it's so adorable okay so it's got these little gold the little gold uh, embellishment piece here with the baby twinkly baby bit on and oh it's got loads of detail like I just can't just could not see any of like this detail in the um, in the pictures at all. Oh, hang on. It's kind of folded out. Like, I'm not sure it's supposed to be. Okay, so the bow can like, it's like metal. And I've just kind of folded it and it's made this bow a bit bigger, but then that doesn't quite look right. There's this side of the bow's like folded, folded in like that to make it look smaller. Okay, like, I don't know whether it's supposed to be folded in like that because I do think it folded in is quite cute but I guess you could make the bow bigger by folding it out okay that's quite an interesting idea that's quite an interesting craft idea too if I was yeah no I think I prefer it with it like folded in because it kind of gives it more texture can you see what I mean like has a folded bit there and then it kind of folds in and folds like that to make the butt the top part of the bow narrower but you can actually just unfold the metal like part and then just pull that piece out to make the bow wider. I guess it depends on how you want to wear it, um, definitely. But the bow is, um, uh, the edges have got this lovely um, brown ribbon with kind of like little, little detailed sort of brown uh, stitching along the ribbon. And then there's this lovely little embellishment piece here which goes along the edge of the cream. Oh, it's so pretty. It's just nothing, it's not like anything I've had before because I haven't had a baby piece before. And I feel like, I feel like at the moment I would be more of a baby girl if I fit it into more of their dresses. Um, because when I first got into Lolita, I feel like AP was just everything for me, but I feel like I kind of don't want to be as OTT in your face. I want to be a bit more classical a little bit more relaxed when I wear my Lolita dresses and coordinates and I feel like baby is that is what would do that for me at the moment um, but I do struggle to find any that look like they would ever fit me I've tried on a few when I went to Japan um, and uh, yeah no just didn't fit even even just yeah seeing them in person it was sad I'm sad and there were ones that I really wanted but I couldn't. So the bow, I'm just seeing whether it moves on the, it's not quite dead central on the headband, but maybe it's not supposed to be. Cause it sort of, I don't know, I'll have to fiddle with it. But um, what I do love with the bottom of them is the, there's just little brown bows on the bottom there too, which is so utterly cute. And the, um, the patterning, uh, which is on the bow is all kind of like streamers and balloons the little streamery bits and these kind of like little diamond shapes and something about it which I didn't realize was that the print has glitter in it so um, 
I, I'll, I'll show you it on the dress, but like even just in like like these tiny little diamond shapes here, it's actually glitter on the print, and I oh, it just adds like another dimension to the print when you've got like glitter on it. So oh, it's so cute. <laughs> it's so cute. <laughs> oh wow, this dress is beautiful. Do you know what? This I definitely glad I got this one now. Really glad I went for it. Okay. Oh la la, it's so pretty. <laughs> oh my god, baby, it's just gorgeous. Oh my god, oh my god, this, this is so pretty. <laughs> oh, this this could easily be like my new favorite dress. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, what I love about the pattern is um, how the it is uh, like it probably has whited out on camera, but so the main color is cream. And then you've got like behind the cream uh, in the pattern, like this is like shaded pink. You really can't see it very well. Shaded pink and this is like shaded pastel green. So it's actually very pastel, um, like the, just the whole patterning and the coloring. And oh, there's a kitty, there's a kitty cat. <laughs> um, and she's like playing on a like a trumpet or a trombone and she has like a big, like a big brass band hat on. Oh my gosh, and like the prints on the baby ones just like have so much, so much in them. They're insane. Just absolutely insane. Can I just hug this for a minute? <laughs> because, <laughs> oh my god, it's so pretty. Oh baby, please make more dresses in this cut. Okay, so the reason why that will fit me um, is because at the back it's got showing uh, across that whole back panel. And like, you know, look, it just stretches all the way out. That's just, yes, there's no way it won't fit. Um, let's have a look and a rundown of this just insanely delightful dress. <laughs> okay, so at the top of the dress, we've got this bow here, which is non-detachable, which is fine because I would never want to take it off um, because it just looks really lovely there. Underneath it, you have got this ribboning here which goes kind of, it goes between like those uh, like loopy bits so you wouldn't want to pull them too hard because I've had um, some types of dresses with this kind of loopy bit where if you pull this too hard this can kind of break there but you wouldn't want to tie that tight at the front anyway because it doesn't actually, I'm just going to bring you down um, it doesn't actually pull it in, It's that's just a detail Across the, it's got like loose threads, <laughs> which are from like, yeah, when it was originally made, it's weird, they're just kind of chilling there. Um, yeah, it's got this fit in the middle, non-detachable bow, which is like a little belt around the middle, which is insanely gorgeous. Just like a double, a double bow. I do love how the straps are contrasting brown with white polka dots and are lined with um, lace which has got little stars on. You can see it's so pretty. Oy! And um, on the back it is, um, they're connected, the ribbon, the ribbons, the, the straps on the back are connected just with a clear button but they do actually have two buttonholes already there. Something I noticed on AP, there is the space to like move the button, but there aren't like two buttonholes. Um, so that's quite nice that you can actually just, just move it onto the buttonholes. Oh yeah, so shirt on the back, which is all fantastic. I believe this dress might have a couple of little marks on it somewhere, which is why I got it for a good price. But so far I haven't seen anything obvious. Um, and if there was something that was slightly brown in it or something, you probably would get away with it because there's just so much pattern there that you're, it's gonna hide. Um, so yeah, the kind of like big uh, plainish bit at the top is just full of streamers, like party decorations. You got pink balloons and blue balloons, heart balloons. There's the baby logo, which is so pretty. And um, yeah, you got like streamers and like, uh, it's just a heart. This is a heart that's not even got a, that looks like more of a cloud because it hasn't got a string on it. And all the streamers, um, you have some that have got a B for baby and um, little gold. Like you've got all these little 
diamonds everywhere, the little gold diamonds. And Kuma Chan, Louise the Bear, with really, really cute little bows, little face, so cute. Um, so that's all kind of like the top part. Oh, kitty! I have to say, I adore Baby the Sunshine Bright's design of a cat. Like, that is just like, oh, it's just the most beautiful cat design. Oh, I love how they do the eyes, like the little flick up. Mm, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh, look at this cloud, look! Oh, it's a Kuma-chan, it's a Kuma-chan cloud. Oh, wow. Oh. oh no, I just love this so much. Baby, I want to buy more of your dresses, please. <laughs> or if anybody's watching um, who has a dress, a baby dress, um, in this sort of cut, where it's sh completely sh shirred on the back, um, please let me know because um, I'm fine. I guess I could have a look on the library, um, but when I'm actually just looking at dresses that are coming up for sale, I just never find anything I really like. They need to be in this cut, please. <laughs> um, Oh yes, the kitties on the moons. That is just, oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm about to like do something with that, like paint it on my wall or something because it's just so utterly adorable. Could I do that? <laughs> That's a new project for me. Paint a giant moon with a baby cat on it, on my bedroom wall. I'm, my husband may not approve. <laughs> um, <laughs> okay, so the main body of the print, let's look at it from the front. It's, it's just the same, it goes round to the back, uh, like it repeats. So underneath that top part, then you've got, so you've got a carousel, which is why I love it. It's like fair, going to the fair. Um, I think it's called something like along those lines, the baby name print. And um, yeah, it says carousel on there. And this is just in the, the palest green and the palest pink, like that you just can't fully appreciate it. And there's gold like around these pieces let's see yeah you can see the gold and the pale pink and the pale blue like against the cream it's just like the most gorgeous pastel combination of colors it's really doing it for me <laughs> um so on the top of the carousel you have a little unicorn it's definitely a unicorn because he has a little spike on the top of his head um oh there's a bow cloud Trying to differentiate between which ones are clouds and which ones are balloons. Um, the whole stash of balloons there. That carousel, just look at that carousel. There's a bunny on that carousel. Bunny! Oh, it's so cute. Actually, it's got such big ears. Like, like, is it a bunny or is it a hare? <laughs> um, it's really cute though. And you have a not sure whether it is a pony or whether it's a unicorn because I can't tell if it's got a horn there. Um, you've got a really, really pretty uh, like seat in the carousel. And there's a little ticket office, which is like the shape of a tower. Oh, it's cute. And then look at the adorableness of the bunnies in teacups. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. <laughs> yeah, it says, it's weird, it's like, says on the teapot, teacups, um, but that is because it is, I guess they're trying to show that, yeah, that it's like a, a ride at the fair, um, like they're playing on the teacups, um, even though the teacups don't seem to be attached to anything, I'm guessing that's what it's supposed to be, they're just kind of, these teacups that are positioned in the middle of the, the air somewhere. Oh, wow. And then coming up from behind the teacups is a ferris wheel, a baby ferris wheel, it says baby on it. Look at that, I don't think we appreciate Baby the Starshine Bright enough, do we? Definitely not. Look how, look at the, um, the artwork in that, it is just insanely beautiful. Oh, when you love to go on a baby ferris wheel, when you've got little kitty cats and things like in the, you're just hiding in the ferris wheel. There, oh, I found a mouse. There is a mouse playing like cymbals. And then you've got a teddy bear, Kumachan. It's probably Kumachan uh, playing drums with kitty cat friend, which I showed you before. 
So that's the carousel round to the Ferris wheel and then what happens is the the image, the print, then restarts and starts again. So um, you have these trees in the background, which looks like it's got apples on. And yeah, you got apple tree around that side. So yeah, under the carousel this side, there's like a little, um, it's kind of like a cameo piece of decor with a little castle in the middle with a bow on the top. And then under that one, it's like a castle with a bridge. And that one is like a, a scenescape, like a wintry scenescape maybe. It could actually, it could just not be wintry. <laughs> um, and then this one is like a big castle. They actually remind me these designs of the castles from actual castles I've seen in France. Um, you never know, they could be, the designs could be based on specific ones. But yes, especially this one. It looks like a Loire Valley um, shaped castle for definite. I think that's like most of the details like that I've captured. But yeah, the print just continues around. The carousel itself is just absolutely flipping stunning. Especially with like all the bows on it and oh. I love the style of the writing on the word carousel. I've just started a diploma in graphic design, so I'm kind of picking up um, all the like details and layouts and, and uh, text and things. So uh, at the bottom, it finishes with the brown and white polka dots, and then you have like polka dot white lace at the bottom. There's also at the top of the dress uh, polka dot white lace too. Not it's not white; it's cream, um, which is kind of like a three three layered. It's got a thin, like a narrow bit, that bit, and then this bit, and then this bit, and that's all polka dot. Oh, around the bow actually, it's a different lace. It's the one that's on the straps. Around the bow is the star lace. Oh, oh my gosh, it is just so pretty. It doesn't have massive waist ties. It just has like these little straps. Um, and I don't know whether, if I could make a nice bow out of those straps, I would wear them. If the bow looked <laughs> like just a bit sad because the skinny straps had probably taken off. Um, but they're connected on with really lovely buttons. These buttons have actually got glitter inside them as well. So they are insanely beautiful. Um, I now can't wait to try it on. <laughs> this is going to be my new favourite dress. I'm going to probably wear it to everything because it's not too over the top that it's like big pink and big blue and like contrasting pattern and like it's like <laughs> it's just very whimsical relaxed but extremely pretty and the extremely pretty details baby I have found a massive massive new love for you even though I knew I love you I love you even more now thank you now time for a transformation I decided to keep my hair how it was um, and I decided to kind of coordinate it with pink um, sort of because I kind of wanted to try out this blouse this new blouse with it um, this blouse can kind of cover the straps a bit but I kind of like to try and keep them on show I think they kind of look a bit better um, when the straps of a to dress were like not hidden I don't know <laughs> but I kind of prefer them um, one thing that's really, really winding me up is that this right strap, for whatever reason, just keeps falling off. Um, either I've not got the dress lined up right or something, but I've put one of the straps on like the tighter button and the other one not because this one just keeps falling off my shoulder and it's driving me insane. But I'll try and find a solution to that some way. I know sometimes people like just put like a, a strap across the back of the two straps, which kind of like just keeps them together and stops them like falling off. I absolutely adore it. It is super, super gorgeous. I match this dress with the brown over the knee tights and the pink shoes, because if you're gonna have a big block of color with a pink like this, you kind of need to follow it down the rest of the coordinate. So I, that's why I've done it as the shoes as well. The reason why I did pink as a main color was because I wanted to pick out the pink in the print. Uh, 
Um, but I think when I actually coordinate it for the event that I'm going to go to, I'm going to coordinate it with brown. Um, I do have my little bear ring, which fits with the Kumia chans. Um, and I did a cloud as well because of the clouds on the dress. Um, I kept the pom-pom fluffy <laughs> ears in. I don't know if I would do that if I was coordinating it for a meetup or something. I'm not sure. Um, the colours sort of go and I really like the gold that's on them and the fact they're a cat because there are cats in the print. But I think I'd probably only wear these uh, like this if it was more of a quite a casual cord time I was wearing the dress. And to be fair with this dress you could definitely wear it more casually. Um, but I think it has the potential to be dressed up more princessy like with the princessy sleeves <laughs> of the blouse. Um, I also put like a little cameo here which a friend designed and we got his gifts once upon a time. Um, I would probably see if there was a different type of necklace I could wear. Um, I've just got crystal earrings but I could wear like pinky ones or brown ones. Um, and the bow, the head bow is gorgeous. It really, really is extremely pretty. Absolutely extremely pretty and it just sits really well without it being like huge on top of your head. Thank you very, very much for coming to see um, this unboxing with me today. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you do enjoy my videos, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Or if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe because um, I'm not monetized at the moment. And I would like to improve my lighting soon um, because of how frustrating it is and how long it takes to set up videos when the lighting is moving around a lot and I would like to purchase a ring light so as soon as I'm monetized that's the first thing I'm gonna do with any monetization is get a ring light so if you support me on Patreon that will be a great way to do it thanks to my uh, Patreon supporters already here you are thank you so much for your support um, and come back soon for more cute kawaii loveliness soon love you lots bye